You can take the kill shot. What? It's an honor, son. Seriously? I never get the kill shot. <sighs> Let him go. Do it, Yo. son. There is nothing called coincidence when it comes to power. Everything has its own connections and every decision has its own consequences. What's up, power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino and I'm back with Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2 Episode 1 video. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and leave your comments below. Now let's jump straight into the facts episode. I'm actually excited about Season 2 so far. It has come with a lot of nostalgic moments. The introduction of Yaz and her grandmother getting worse will add extra responsibilities to Tariq's plate to look out for his only surviving sister. The Tahara family, on the other hand, starts to become unstable where Drew and Diana are planning to be rebellious since Monet's choices are no longer helping them. David McLean working with Sachs for a purpose was something I said in one of my videos. Now, I mentioned that McLean offering Sachs a job was not going to be for the cases, but he was going to use Sachs to his advantage in order to free his brother due to conflict of interest. Just like I said few months ago, it's falling in place as episode 1 of season 2, McLean is telling his brother that he has Sachs on board and he is the one going to get him out of prison. Now let's go deeper with the Western family hunting trip. There is nothing called coincidence when it comes to power. Everything has its own connections and every decision has its own consequences. Above all, every action answers a question. Braden's family hunting trip has established a metaphoric scene of Jabari getting shot and Ghost getting shot as well. The key word that personifies these two scenes is the kill shot. Now, just opposing the deer shot with Jabari and Ghost, who were both shot by Tariq, one had the kill shot, who was Jabari, and the other didn't get the kill shot, which is Ghost. Now, what happens when someone was shot once in the chest without getting the kill shot, where a kill shot here is in the head? Probability is that the person will end up surviving somehow. Same thing Raquel asked Kaden to do to Detective Howard, and he didn't, hence Detective Howard surviving the shot. Now, what do you think was running through Tariq's head when he was looking at the half deer dead? And what do you think was running through his mind immediately after Braden fired the second shot? Do you think Tariq just realized he has made a mistake when he shot Ghost? Well, your guess is just as mine. I'm sure there are more things ahead in season 2 which can help us connect the dots to the truth. Now, the search for Jabari killer has begun. The gun that was used to kill Jabari was the gun Kane took from Ramirez after he killed him. Now, attention will be diverted towards Ramirez as the suspect, hence they will start looking for his whereabouts since no one is hearing anything from him. But then, in season 1, Monet, Dre and even Diana figured out that Kane killed Ramirez and now that they have found the metal weapon that was used to kill Jabari, if the news finally comes out that Ramirez's gun was found at the crime scene, Monet will hear and it won't take a minute for her to do the math. She's going to know that her son has something to do with Jabari's death. And also, depending on how Kanan reacts when she confronts him, things might trace back to Tariq. Then again, Tariq will have to deal with the consequences of lying to Monet. Kane is now having two bodies on his head that is going to have the police searching hard for the killer. If the police find out that Ramirez is dead, it will give them more reason to look into his killer and how his murder weapon end up on Jabari's crime scene. Like we always know, Kane is full of traceable mistakes and I believe Tariq will take advantage of that and make sure nothing about Jabari's killing traces back to him. Besides, there are only two witnesses which is Kane and Tariq. Now Tariq just lost the one way to communicate to his mother from Witsec if that is even possible. The phone Tariq had aside to communicate with his mother was the same phone he used to exchange texts with Jabari to meet with him for the cash that very night. Now that the detective on the case has located the phone holder, what it means for Tariq is that either he throws the phone away or Rick's getting caught. Now when he throws the phone away too, there is no way he's going to ever hear from his mother even if there is a slightest hope of Tasha replying his text message. Now finally, the introduction of Tate and the fact that he has lost the governor race to me is questionable as to if he really lost 
or he was actually robbed because from where he took over after Ghost was shot, it looked like he was going to win at all costs. So for things to turn out that he has lost, I start to think that this has something to do with Ghost in the background. In other words, if Ghost can't be governor, neither will Tate. And we all remember how Ghost used to provoke Tate with the fact that he's a bad loser, he always loses and so forth. This I didn't lose. I was fucking robbed, bro. And nobody stopped the steal. So just think about it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I know it's too early to start concluding, but think about why Tate will get robbed from the governor race. Link this to the last but one scene with Ramona and you agree there has been some deep robbery. Also, consider the reaction from Stephen Ott when Tate visited him at his home, where we all know he was behind him after Ghost was shot for the governor race. This is another suspicion I got from the episode that Tate was robbed on purpose. Don't forget I keep saying that Stephen Ott can't be trusted at all and I gave my reasons in my previous video. Now let me know in the comment section about your thoughts of the first episode of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2 Episode 1. Do you think the metaphoric interplay of Jabari and Ghost simultaneously in the same mindset of Tariq is some kind of loophole they are trying to fill? Do you also think the way I was thinking? Do you think the kill shot is something they are trying to lay down to establish the fact that Ghost wasn't actually dead? Just let me know your thoughts and let me know whether you understand the metaphor that has been played throughout this first episode. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave your comments and share and I'll see you in the next episode which is going to be episode 2. Thanks for watching.